Hey guys, it's Justine and I'm here with my September wrap-up. Uh, so I have quite a few books, so we'll just get started. Uh, the first book that I read this month, well I guess last month, it's October now, was Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge. Uh, this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling and it was alright, it was kind of different. Um, I can't remember what I rated it. It wasn't like a 5 out of 5 read, but it wasn't terrible. And I am excited to read the second one. I can't remember what it's called now, but it has like a green cover. It kind of looks the same, but apparently it's like not a continuation of Cruel Beauty. It's just like a companion. So that's kind of weird because I thought that for sure it would be a continuation, but I want to read it regardless. Then I picked up The Dark Unwinding by Sharon Cameron. Um, I was kind of still in like this gothic dark... Victorian kind of like reading time so I picked this one up this one was like super weird um, I think there's another book in this series but it's like all like clockworks and like building things but then it's like things aren't what they seem and it's like a mystery and I don't know I was sold because it was like this girl's uncle she goes to take her uncle to an asylum a sane asylum or see if he's fit to stay living at his house so she has to like be the decision maker and then things happen. Then I picked up uh, volume two of Shudder, uh, Way of the World by Joe Keatonage, Lila DeLuca and some other peeps. I like this series a lot. Um, it's kind of like weird and fantastical and confusing but it's like wicked. Like the artwork's awesome and it's just like this chick um, her dad dies and it's almost like it really reminds me of like the crocodile hunter because her dad like went on all these like hunts and like to get bad guys and all kinds of things and all like bad guys are scared of him and they're kind of like scared of her because they know who she is and then just like thing like shit happens and goes down and it's just really really good and I recommend this graphic novel if you're that sounds something you'd be interested in and then I read book one and book two of the Magnolia League by Katie Crouch so the Magnolia League, and then uh, the White Glove War, and these covers are gorgeous. The books aren't as great as the beautiful covers. Um, it's like about debutantes, but then there's like um, hoodoo and magic and things, and it kind of almost reminds me of like American horror horror story, like Coven. Like that's kind of what they're like. So if you like that stuff, check these out. And then going along with like the gothic horror, um, I picked up Folly by Martha Jocelyn. And this one was like a lot different than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like scary based on the cover, but it's not really scary. It's like told in three POVs and I don't really remember what it's about, but it was all right. Then I wanted to read like a standalone. So I picked up The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black, which is like vampires, but it's like different. And it was alright. I kind of want, like, more. Like, I feel like there should be more about certain characters. But it was, like, a fine read. I think I gave it, like, four out of five stars. And then, because I was trying to get through all, like, the Goodreads wins that I had, I picked up Gretel and the Dark by Eliza Granville. So this one, like, super intrigued me. So this girl um, claims to have no name, all this stuff. She just, like, wanders out of the woods. Um, but she's actually from an insane asylum. And... I guess what happened was like her dad was like a Nazi doctor and then yeah so she's kind of like messed up so this was pretty good read and then this was another Goodreads win I didn't actually show you guys the unboxing because I just was like I want to read this it's called Being Human by Christina Grant who's from Canada um, so it was signed Justine the only fellow Canuck to have won the contest happy reading Christina Grant or Christine Grant Christina um, and this one was like really super weird but it was like so amazing like I'm pretty sure I gave it five out of five stars um so there's this kid who's kind of like a cyborg I guess and they're kind of like doing experiments on cyborgs right now or in this time where if they like put certain um organisms from humans into them if that'll like grow on them and they become human and like that's what happens and then it's kind of like telling the cyborg guy's like feelings about being human and like it was really really good um I think it's kind of like a middle grade maybe or like for younger people but it would be like super good for any age I really enjoyed it so I recommend this one if you guys like cyborgs and humans and falling in love and things 
And then I picked up Young Avengers, the like full volume collection. I think this, there might be another one, but I don't know. This is one number one to 15. So I read number one and really liked it. So I just grabbed this giant volume and I still like it. So yeah, check that one out if you're into superheroes. And it was like these kids brought their parents back from the dead and then their parents were evil and it was a good time. Uh, and then I read The Flappers, Vixen by Gillian Larkin. Love this book. It's like 1920s. There's like a murder. There's mobsters. It's great. And then I read Injuine, which is the second book also by Gillian Larkin. And it just is like a continuation. Oh, and there's like a black and white people, like a black guy and a white girl fall in love, which is like unheard of in the 1920s. And they're like hiding their relationship. And then the mob gets involved, but it's super good. And then, like, right before the end of the month, me and my friend went to Comic-Con, so the rest are graphic novels. I grabbed uh, Nailbiter Volume 2, Bloody Hands. Love this series. It's about, like, a serial killer who bites people's nails until they die. But it's, like, the small town, and 16 serial killers have came out of it, and people, like, go there on, like, educational serial hunter looking up things, and it's so awesome. And check it out if you're morbid like me. And then I grabbed Rat Queens, Volume 2, The Far-Reaching Tentacles of Nagroth. And if in case you didn't read or watch my um, graphic novel haul from Comic-Con, I got it signed by um, Curtis J. Weeb because he was there. And I'm still not like 100% sold on Rat Queens. Like I like it and I like certain characters better than others because each like issue is about a different character. But I'm still, like, invested in it enough to continue on. And then I read Amulet, volume, or book one, The Stonekeeper by Kazu Kabushi. Love this. This is, like, a really good middle grade graphic novel, but good for adults, too. So pick it up, because it's wicked. And then um, I grabbed Explorer, The Mystery Boxes by Kazu Kabushi. And this one's like an anthology of a bunch of different authors writing about mysterious boxes. So again, some stories are good, some are bad, because it's an anthology. Uh, same with Explore the Lost Islands is edited by Kazu Kabushi, and there's lots of other people too, but same thing. Some are good, some are bad, but it's nice to like get people's different artwork and that kind of thing. Um, and then I grabbed Revival Volume 2, Live Like You Mean It, and this is like a zombie... Um, kind of zombies, kind of not type of story, so check it out. It's not like The Walking Dead, but it's zombies. And then the last um, thing I read this month was Lazarus Volume 2. And this one is like in a dystopian future and people have like one person in their family who's like a fighter um, and usually they like get paid or they're like brought into their family to be this fighter that fights for their family and different things. And these people are super rich and this chick is their fighter. So it's all right. It's not like the best thing, but it's not like terrible. So yeah. And that's everything that I read this month. So I think, I don't know how many that was. I'll put like a counter thing here. And yeah, let me know if you guys have read any of these books, if you like them, if you hate them. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you in another video.